Uh, thank you, Secretary Armando. Appreciate you joining us today. You know, the investments that we make in the Department of Commerce are so important to our economy, our national competitiveness, and our national security, as you were just talking about. They really help make sure that we have a thriving workforce and growing businesses, strong supply chains, trade relationships, high-speed internet in every zip code in America, reliable information about our weather, healthy salmon populations and hatcheries, and of course, cutting edge research, as you well know, and manufacturing in critical industries like advanced manufacturing, clean energy, quantum community, so much more. And we know that our adversaries, like the Chinese government, are doing everything they can to get ahead in those fields. We know they are not cutting their investments in the future or leaving them on autopilot. And that means that we cannot afford to do that either, um, which means we can't leave domestic spending behind in fiscal year 25. Um, we are working with very tight, inadequate spending limits. And I, as I have said repeatedly, as we talk about how to address those inadequacies for, for defense, we have to do the same for non-defense because our competitiveness and our country's future depend on it. We have to write strong bills for the year ahead because if we leave our families behind, then our competitors are gonna leave us behind before too long. So I appreciate the work you're doing and as a reminder to all my colleagues, we need to make sure we're funding the non-defense side as well as the defense side. Um, our salmon, um, as you well know, are foundational to Washington State's economy and cultural heritage. Salmon recovery is a top priority for me, and NOAA plays a really integral role in this work, especially on Mitchell Act hatcheries, which are a mainstay of commercial, recreational, and treaty tribal fisheries in the Columbia River Basin. I secured investments in the Inflation Reduction Act to repair and modernize those hatchery infrastructure, and we have to continue that work through strong annual appropriations. Can you speak to this committee about the importance of maintaining robust funding for those Hatchel, Hatch, Mitchell Hack dash hatcheries? Yes, thank you. For 10 seconds, I just want to, I guess, support and emphasize the first point that you made. The way to compete with China and outcompete China is to invest in America. There's only so much we can do to hold them back. Right? We need to, and by hold them back, I mean deny them our technology, for example. We need to invest in everything you're talking about. If every American has good job training, good jobs, good manufacturing, good broadband, that's how we outcompete. Right. So I strongly support your leadership around focusing on the domestic investments. As it relates to salmon, you and I have talked about this before. Um, the money that we have uh, for the salmon hatcheries goes to states and also to tribes. And as you well know, this is a, a way of life for tribes, not to mention livelihood. Um, I would say that without the money, we won't be able to maintain salmon population. So the short answer is, I suppose, is incredibly critical. It's critical. We won't be able to maintain the population, which means people will not be able to maintain their jobs, uh, not to mention the environmental consequences. Thank you. Absolutely agree. Now, I heard what Senator Murkowski said. I was going to say the same thing, um, and I appreciated your response, but I, you need to know that we are hearing from our constituents that this desperately needed funding is delayed um, due to issues with NOAA's payment system, as you outlined to us. Um, we've had several fishery disaster declarations that directly benefit us, but our people are not seeing the help get to them. So I heard your response to Senator Murkowski. I would ask you to do the same to us, uh, to let us know in Washington State when they're going to see these resources because the people are really getting disillusioned by yeah. this. I know, and I'm sorry. You'll see some announcements next month. It's definitely getting better. Um, I know the crabbers are hurting and the fisher fishery is hurting. We're, we're getting, we're on it, and it's going to get better. Okay. And we look forward to a personal update when you get that information mm -hmm. and when it's going to be. Um, I wanted to ask you about NOAA's West Coast Regional Center in Seattle. It houses the largest variety of NOAA programs at a single location in all of the United States and employs the largest number of NOAA staff outside of Washington, D.C. Some of those dip buildings date back to World War II era. Um, so as NOAA works to consolidate in the 
Seattle region, I believe there's an opportunity to improve those facilities. An internal NOAA study arrived at the same conclusion. So I want to ask you today, will you commit to keeping me and my staff apprised of NOAA's plan to modernize the WRC? Yes, the WRC is a priority and it is on track and we will, of course, keep you apprised. Okay, because NOAA needs those top class facilities that in order to do really important work, whether it's weather, climate, coastal missions. So this is a, a critical area for us and we wanna stay in touch with you and you should do, you should do that. Of course.